The red supari has the red sari has the super sensor seeing red. It allegedly wants the book's publication in India stemmed. Congress maintains the red sari is a book of outrageous colors and claims, and leading the charge against it is party spokesperson Abhishek Manu Singhvi. A notice has been sent to the author and its publishers. A legal showdown now seems imminent. Headlines today's editor investigations, Harinder Baveja, lists the Congress party's objection to the controversial bestseller El Sari Rojo. This book contains humongous distortions and misrepresentation of facts. The Congress party spokesperson Abhishek Manu Singhvi has come out all legal guns blazing, trying allegedly to stop the publication of El Sari Rojo. While the author Javier Moro has himself said that this book is a work of fiction, the Congress party has trashed the work as proof of the author's fertile imagination. The party sent a legal notice to Moro through Abhishek Manu Singhvi's son Anubhav Singhvi. The Congress is extremely upset over allegations in the book that after Rajiv Gandhi's assassination, Sonia Gandhi wanted to leave India and return to Italy. The Congress party is in the thick of a controversy and this time it has to do with a book on Sonia Gandhi. The party in fact has sent a legal notice to the Spanish author contending that Sonia Gandhi never intended to leave the country as the author writes soon after Rajiv Gandhi's assassination. You have dreamt up a theory about her fleeing the country. Mrs. Gandhi does not think like that, nor has she thought like that. You seem to have a recurring obsession about Mrs. Gandhi leaving the country and quote a conversation with her mother where her mother asks her to come back to Italy and she says, I do not know. That is not the only grouse the grand old party has against the author of the Red Sari. The party is extremely miffed about insinuations that Sonia Gandhi was opposed to learning Hindi. In the book you also write Mrs. Sonia Gandhi did not understand why she had to learn a language spoken by servants meaning Hindi. This is an imaginary conclusion. She never had a patronizing or condescending attitude to the Hindi language. Nor does she think it's a language spoken by servants. Party spokesperson in Rajya Sabha MP Abhishek Manu Singhvi also reportedly told the author to begin the book with a disclaimer. Disclaimer. This is an unauthorized version of the story of Sonia Gandhi and the Nehru family written without her or her family's collaboration. There is no acceptance of its accuracy or assertions by any member of the Gandhi family. This fictionalized account of her life is based on the author's own interpretation as well as information found in previously published works. Despite the disclaimer, the party is not satisfied and according to the author is harassing him and terrorizing his publishers. With Harinder Baveja in Delhi, Ruchika Tomar, Headlines Today.